dear esteemed employees, on behalf of Lockett Insurance, I am pleased to invite you to our annual commemorative dinner party. This year, we will be celebrating the recent success of our company, recognizing the hard work of our partners and staff, and announcing a new promotion within our ranks. I hope you will be able to join us for an evening of good food and great company to support the future of our business. Sincerely, Dr. Harper Covington, CEO of Lockett Insurance. Ma, welcome to the party. Come on in. Thank you, Dr. Covington. It feels just like yesterday I attended the last one. Announcing another big promotion right here. Please, take a seat. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out tonight. Lockett Insurance has made some great strides this past year. And with that progress, I am happy to announce Mr. Hamilton as our new Chief Financial Officer. Mr. Hamilton, if you would. Thank you, Harper. These past six months have been such a great experience. Working with entry-level employees have really taught me something. They're the foundation of this company. Their hard work allows individuals like you and me to achieve greatness. It's a gift and a curse to be this skilled. For the future of this company and my role in it. We need to call 911 now. Poison. You think he was murdered? Mr. Hamilton was in perfect health. Not until he took a sip that he collapsed. If anybody finds out about this, our company's ruined. <laughs> but we have. No, 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 no. Not the contents, right? How close were all of you to Mr. Hamilton? William, you start. Well, as you all know, me and Mr. Hamilton were office partners. Did you see the score in the league last week? Mr. Hamilton? Aren't you supposed to be reviewing the claim right now? Hold on a second, Richard. If you want the claims done so badly, why don't you complete them yourself? Hey, sorry, I'm back. I can't get any help these days. I mean, sure we had a few disagreements along the way, but we both got our work done. I'm simply the receptionist. I barely knew Mr. Hamilton. You know, more people would talk to you if you had a bowl of mints. He only ever told me to buy mints for my desk. Well, I've worked here the longest. I was helping Mr. Hamilton settle in. I have your next report for you, Mr. Hamilton. Oh. No, no, this is way too long. I need you to take care of this for me.
I guess he settled in pretty quickly, though. Well, Mr. Hamilton and I were once in a relationship. Call me sometime. We broke up a month ago. Why? Well, if you haven't already noticed, he wasn't always the most generous person. That would give you a reason to kill him, wouldn't it? I may not have liked Mr. Hamilton, but I would never kill him. And with all due respect, what's stopping us from suspecting you, Dr. Covington? Everybody relax. I'll go check the breaker. What are you doing down here? Everyone's supposed to be upstairs. Oh, Harper. You really should have given me that promotion. Years I've been working at this company and I have never been more than just an entry level employee. I've worked day in and day out only for my efforts to be ignored. So sad I had to kill Hamilton though. Well, I'll be sure to tell the police this when they get here. Good luck restoring the company now. Call me if you need me. <laughs> 